Ito yung pagbasa po sa propeta Isaiah. Ang narration ng ating propeta ay binigay niya ng senaryo. Dalawang bayan nasa north po. Isa si taga Syria po sa taga Damascus. The king of Aram, they, they call him. Rezin. Tapos, another person, the king of uh, Ephraim, uh, whose um, city is um, Samer uh, Samaria. The capital is Samaria. So both Resin and this uh, uh, Pekka, sorry, uh, um, yes, Resin and Pekka, they were all uh, conniving in order to conquer the southern kingdom, Judah, where Ahaz is the king. Pinagdala ng Panginoon si Isaiah kay Ahaz na sana huwag siyang matakot. Sa kabila ng gantong parang threat na siya ay lusubin, sabi ng Panginoon, aking syudad, aking city, ang Jerusalem, just hold firm. If your faith is firm, you will be firm. But, but if your faith is not firm, you will not be firm. Sabi niya, unless your faith is firm, you shall not be firm. <clears throat> Dito naman po sa gospel, may threat din. This time si Jesus at ang fideto niya, mga bayan. Ang tawag po dito in the so-called northern area of Israel today in Galilee, these are the triangle. Triangle po ito eh. Bethsaida, Chorazin, and Capernaum. Meron pong ganyang parang, uh, meron pong parang uh, mouth, I mean, uh, dalampasigan of the Sea of Galilee. Uh, Bethsaida is in the north, dito po sa west, down <clears throat> southwest ang Capernaum, pasok ka po sa more western area and andun po ang Chorazin. In that triangle po, Jesus was performing so many miracles. And yet, He lamented <clears throat> that the miracles that were done are not for people just maalwanan para magawan ng, uh, sabi natin, ng uh, matanggalan ng kahirapan or ng sakit. Pero sana sila'y magbago. Mula sa sakit na pinabago ang kanilang mga katawan, hinihiling sana ng Panginoon manibago din ang damdamin. In what sense? Sa Diyos. Na kung sila ay nabigyan ng ginhawa, salamat sa kabutihan Sabihin natin ni Yesu Kristo kasi He healed them. He spoke to them. Look at God, sabi niya. Turn to God. At sabihin niyo, magbabari, magbabago din ako ng buhay. I cannot find any other way but to connect this with our situation. Nasabi ko na po ng isang araw na hindi po lang mahalaga na mag-lockdown tayo, na matakot po tayo sa COVID-19. Pero magbago po tayo ng pamumuhay. Ito po ay time of reckoning. Kaya siguro may konting katagalan eh. Alam nyo, ang Pilipinas, sabi ko nga, <clears throat> we had four years, five years nearly. 1941 to 1945 under the Japanese. But no one, probably in our generation, konting-konti na lang, experienced the war. I'm sure, maging ang mga magulang ko, nanay ko, nasa nasubo, daddy ko, nandito sa Manila, they were asking themselves, Panginoon, kailan ba ito matatapos ang occupation of the Japanese? of our islands. So, ang laki ng aluan sa buhay nila nung dumating daw si MacArthur, si Douglas MacArthur at um, 
in returning to the Philippines, the Americans took away again the Japanese. And by 1945, we had our democratic principles enshrined in our own, we could say, free uh, government of our own. Wala na po tayo sa Commonwealth. Napunta na po tayo with our president, Manuel Rojas, being the first. Pero kung titinan po natin yung kagandahang loob ng Diyos sa atin na hindi tayo nauwi sa foreign nation as a vassal, as a slave state, <clears throat> meron po bang pagbabago sa puso ng mga tao? Ano ibig sabihin po doon? Tayo ba'y nagtutulungan talaga? Para ang tawag po sa atin ay isang bansa. Isang bayan. Di ba ang tawag doon sa isang, sabihin natin, one nation is called taong bayan. To make it sound better, taong bayan. Or sambayanan. Nagkakaisa ba talaga ang mga Pilipino at this time? Tila hindi. Tila ang political alliances ang nananaig po. Tila pag meron bang beneficyo, eh hindi naman dumadating lahat sa mga taong dapat paratingan ng beneficyo. Ang dami pong hirap, pero ganun pa rin po ang karamihan ng ating mga damdamin, eh bahala ka. Bumuha ka ng paraan mo. Basta't ako, aayusin kong buhay ko. Hindi po tayo nakikinig sa gantong katahimikan ng lahat ng mundong ito. <clears throat> At siguro ang tanong ng Diyos ay, lahat ba ng iyong pinagkaka sumikapan, lahat ba ng iyong pinagpapawisan, kailangan ba talaga yan? Talaga bang kailangan na kailangan mo yan? O baka naman meron kang nananakaw na sa ibang tao sapagkat hindi maganda ang pagspeldo, ang pagprato, hindi tama ang justice and order kaya walang kapayapaan sa bayan. Biro nyo, brothers and sisters, nabaritaan ko na a number of people na nakawa ng ayuda sa gobyerno in the first few months of COVID. May ilan, ginamit pa rin sa drugs na ilan ginamit sa sugal. Nakalagay po dito, ano? If you do not repent, walang mangyayari. Corazin, Betsaida, and Caperlo. Sa konti ko pong privilege or pagkakataon, bumisita and even lead pilgrims to the Holy Land. There was only once, it was my first pilgrimage in 1997, na insist ng aming pare na biblical scholar, pumunta kami sa Korasin. Sabi ng Jewish guide namin, Father, what is there in Korasin? Sabi niya, kung bahala. Father, sayang ang panahon. Ako ang bahala. Katatapos lang po namin sa Mount of Beatitudes. Tapos, syempre, pinag-usapan ang salita ng Diyos, blessedness, beatitude, happiness. Tapos si Father, very clear sa akin, si Father, <coughs> I mean, biblical scholar, oh my God. Um, nasa Papua New Guinea siya ngayon. Sabi niya, punta tayo sa Corazin, ha? Pagdating po namin, wala. Mga tatlo 
o apat na bato ang naandun. Yeah, there was a little remembrance na may mga tao doon before. Before. Wala na. So sabi namin, Father, ba't tayo pumunta dito sa wala? Yan. Sabi niya. Yan ang nakawagay sa kay St. Matthew after the Beatitudes. Corazin. There is not even a, a person that was there kasi it's deserted area. There is not even a little group of persons living in Corazin. Zero as in zero. Sabi niya, we'll not go to Bethsaida because anyway, it's the same. Let's go to Capernaum. Punta kami na Capernaum. Uy, maraming tao. Pero ano po eh, ruins, synagogue, a house of Peter na nilagyan ng church sa mga Franciscans. Pero alam niyo, other than the Franciscans who are taking care of this holy site of St. Peter's house in Capernaum, where Jesus lived for some time, walang tao doon. Pagdating po ng alas 6, sarado at yung mga monks na Franciscan, they stay in their convent. Wala. Wala pong business. Wala. Niente. Nothing. Three cities that were receiving so much beneficence from Jesus, zero. It's true. The Word of God is true. And I think if it is true then, since God doesn't change, it is true now. So the Word of God is heeding me, is asking me, and I'm sharing it with you. Francis, pag-isip-isipan mo ba ang iyong mga ugali, ang iyong pananaw, ang iyong mga relasyon, Naaakma ba ito ayon sa kabaitan, sa kabutihan ng Panginoon? And that's why we are here in the 33 days of morning glory. We're praying that less, sana wag na dumating pa sa ating buhay, greater tribulations. Na nasasabi ng visionaries daw, having given some visions or some apparitions or some messages of the Blessed Mother, I'm not too clear, too sure. But sabi ko kay Father Dennis namin, wala namang mawawala sa akin if I do this retreat of 33 days. Hindi uh, naman masasama ang buhay ko. Hindi naman mag-aaksya ng panon. Imagine eight minutes lang po every day to read you know, a kind of story of St. Louis de Montfort for the first week? Uh, should I still complain? I don't think so. So whether the predictions of tribulation will come or not, no problem for me. But I just did, I tried to do my share of praying for our needs. That somehow we would return to the Lord. So brothers and sisters, it's an appeal of God to us. Siya pa po ang nagmamakaawa sa atin. Because in a, in a way, hindi po siya tatamaan. Hindi siya tinatamaan ng COVID-19. Pero kung meron bang ganito sa atin, e eh para sa ating salvation. It's not to destroy us. It is even to renew us. So please, brothers and sisters, let us check. And maybe here it would be good. Can I encourage families to make meetings? Pag-usapan niyo pong mag-asawa, mag-meeting kayo mag-anak. Magtanong po kayo, ano bang hinihiling sa atin ng pagbabago? Una sa mag-asawa, sa inyong relationship. Husband and wife. Tapos, yung mag-anak, yung inyong relasyon sa inyong mga anak at yung mga anak sa kalang mga ama. Planuhin niyo po bilang pamilya. Kasi lahat po ng eskwela, 
from what I know, walang face to face. Until probably December, if not the whole school year. Mga magulang, sino ang mga ngasiwa sa pag-aaral ng mga bata? Sabi na iba, eh di, hindi ko na muna papapasukin, skip one year of class. Bata pa naman yan eh. Anong gagawin nila this whole year? Kaya siguro magandang tanungin eh. What is God wanting to renew in our relationships and in our assistance for each other? I'm happy that the parents, if they are meant to work at home, then you can assist your children. Pero ako po, ang alam ko ngayon sa work from home, mas malaki yata yung trabaho, mas mahaba pa yata yung oras na nilalagay. Adit, adit dyan yung pagluluto, adit dyan yung Ngayon, mag-tutor ka. Susubaybayan mo yung pasok ng iyong anak tungkol dyan sa mga assignments na galing sa online schooling. Baka kayo mag-init-init ng ulo. Baka yung masampal, mahampa sa inyong mga anak pag hindi po siya. So mga bata din, dapat sabihin niyo, ano ba dapat maging ugali ko? Can I be the same na wala lang, pawarte-warte? Or probably our youth are asked to stand up, take a stand over their future, and not just look towards their families, their parents. I think a family meeting is in order. And the reference point is Anong pagbabago dapat na gagawin natin? I, do, I say this because 13 of us, kasi 13 na lang kami, from 15, naging 13, tinanggal ang dalawa, inilipat ng aming provincial. Eh, mag-meeting po kami today. It seems the whole day po. At titingnan namin, ano ang pinapabago sa amin ng Diyos in terms of our expenses, expenditures, but also in terms of our helping each other. Kasi kung magtatanggal kami ng aming kasabahay na one day, no work, no pay, ay sino maglilin eh? Sino mag, mag, uh, uh, mag-aayos ng mga plato, ng mga pinggan pinagkainan? Sino po ang magluluto for that one day na wala yung aming cook? So we have to step up. But maybe we'll also ask ourselves, is this going to be just because of the COVID? Or shall it become our lifestyle? Ito ba ang ating paraan na ngayon ng pagpapamilya? We take care of each other more. Yun po agenda namin also this morning and this afternoon. For this, I really pray that our families may become more whole and wholesome to each other. Our response for every petition will be, may your mother intercede for us, Lord. May your mother intercede <clears throat> for us, Lord. Son of Justice, the Immaculate Virgin, was the white dawn announcing your rising. Grant that we may always live in the light of your coming. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Eternal Word, you chose Mary as the uncorrupted ark of your dwelling place. Free us from the corruption of sin, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Savior of humankind, your mother stood at the, fro at the foot of your cross. Grant through her intercession that we may rejoice to share in your passion, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. With ultimate generosity and hope and love, you gave Mary as a mother to your beloved disciple. Help us to live as worthy sons, if so noble, a mother. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Let's continue to pray for the intentions offered, particularly for the birthday celebrants, Miro Helido, Apple Kumpas, Father Alpert, Father Mads, 
Cha Yu and Hannah Francisco for the recovery to good health of Eric, Ethan, and Tessa, for Fides and Tony, Archie, Bry, Groves, Elspeth Compton, Mike Bautista, and Pete. And um, in thanksgiving for recovery, Philip Quason Sr. For the intentions of Blue Bernal in her studies and the missionary families of Christ of Cavite, and particularly Chesa Mempin. And finally, let's pray for the eternal repose of the monk, Father Maramba, who died two days ago, Sandro Pili and Lucia Yu Ong. For all this and those that are intentions in our hearts, we ask God's for God's um, graces and blessings through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread that we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine that we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray now, my sisters and my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of <clears throat> hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord, transform these gifts which we bring to you with joyful hearts into the sacrament of our salvation on this memorial of the Virgin Mary in glory. For she is a shining model of true worship for your church and of our duty to offer ourselves as a holy victim, pleasing in your eyes through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God through Jesus Christ. For in your infinite goodness, you have given to the Virgin Church the model of true worship in the Virgin Mary. She is the Virgin who listens, who embraces your words with joy, treasuring them in the silence of her heart. She is the Virgin of prayer, who sings of your mercy in her canticle of praise, who shows concern for the bridegroom and the bride of Cana and intercedes for them with her son. She who prays with the apostles in oneness of mind and heart. She is the virgin mother who gives birth to your son by the power of the Holy Spirit and at the foot of the cross is proclaimed as mother of the people of the new covenant. She is the virgin who offers, presenting the firstborn in your temple, sharing in his self-offering beside the tree of everlasting life. She is the virgin who keeps vigil, awaiting the resurrection of her son with unwavering hope and looking forward to the coming of the Holy Spirit with steadfast faith. In our joy then we sing to your glory with all the choirs of angels, holy, holy, Holy Lord, Lord, God of God, Lord, Lord, heaven and earth are full, full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us 
the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which is given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we, when we eat this bread, bread and drink this cup, we proclaim, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jesse Mercado, our Bishop, the clergy, and all our lay leaders. Remember your servants, Lucia, Sandro, and Father Maramba, whom you have called from this world to your Son. Grant that they who have been united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. And remember as well our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, our own martyrs, Lorenz Ruiz and Pedro Calumson, the saint of this day, Saint Cabilus de Lelis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We are certain of the love of God for us. We do not look into his messages of today as simple threats for destruction, as much as advice, warnings for growth, for betterment, for improvement. And for this trust in his goodness, we pray with Jesus the way he taught us, our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Oh yes, deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give to you. 
please look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her our own families and neighborhoods, and particularly our country, the peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant, Grant us. us. My dear brothers and sisters, behold Jesus, our God, sent to us by the Father to save us from our sins and lead us to everlasting life. So blessed are we who are called for renewal and are now allowed to receive in this supper of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, we have offered to you in sacrifice the holy mysteries of your table. We have received with loving hearts the body and the blood of your Son. Grant then that your church, all of us, may look always to the Blessed Virgin, so that we may grow in fervor of faith, be confirmed in our love, especially for you and for each other, and be strengthened by the hope of future glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who, those care, who for care for them. Grant eternal rest to those, to those who have died. Give, give us grace to this trying, this trying time, time to work for the good, for of, the good all, of all and, and to help, help those in need. We, we implore you to stop, stop the spread, the spread of, the virus of this virus and to and save, us save from our from all our fears. Grant, Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Lord Christ, your Son, who lives in grace with you, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. One, one God, forever and ever. ever. Amen. Let us address our needs and protection and request for protection for our Blessed Mother. We fly to your, to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do, Do not despise our petition, petition in our necessities, but deliver, but deliver us always all from all dangers. O oh, glory and, and blessed Virgin. Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. 
Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Saint Camillus. Pray for us. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for continuing to share the Eucharist with us. I'm very sure that day after day, um, we receive graces and blessings from the Lord. And um, I am con constantly praying and yearning from God that indeed we would prepare more and more our families and our hearts for the coming festivity of the 500th anniversary of our Catholic faith in April 2021. Yesterday, po, we, we ended a season of 13 weeks, 13 episodes. The katong po ang July 13. So next week, po, we will start with a new season. And the theme after Catholic family, how husband and wife should relate with each other. You can go back po to um, this episodes, the five episodes that are found in the YouTube channel and um, you can look there for 52 weeks. And then you could see uh, the relationship between parents and children for four weeks. And yesterday, as I said, we concluded how a family, a Catholic family, is able to share its um, love and concern by being involved in the parish activities, in the parish life and ministry, and above all, in being able to also have a, an influence in the neighborhood and among the persons in society. So next week, ano po ang ating tema? The woman. And of course, who is the best woman of the world, if not the Blessed Mother? And we will reflect on five weeks regarding her relationship with God, her single-hearted love for God. It's called her virginity, ever Virgin Mary. Then the next four weeks, her relationship within her little family of Joseph and Jesus, where she is a wife, but also above all, known in the Gospels as the mother. And finally, what is her relationship with her faith and above all with her society and we know her to be the perpetual help. 